Thank you so much. So again, we're going to keep the energy flowing with these quick fire case studies. So I'm delighted to introduce the dynamic team from Steel and Tube, Christo Erasmus and Miko Anzano, uh, where they're going to look at their case study, which is based on ACC's Otipoti project um, and exploring BIM as a new resource for health and safety. Uh, Christo is a mechanical engineer with experience in mining, resource and oil and gas. Um, and he currently serves as a South Island sales manager for Steel and Tube, where he also oversees the national detailing team alongside uh, Miko. Uh, Miko has a degree in architecture and project management um, from Italy, and he's also worked in oil and gas um, and with steel structures and pre-stressed manufacturing uh, here in New Zealand, and he now utilises his construction know-how uh, in 3D modelling and managing steel and tubes detailing team. So a big kia ora, and uh, thank you and welcome to Miko and Christo. If you can uh, join us, we're excited to see you know, how you've embraced BIM technologies to not only improve product delivery, uh, but also health and safety outcomes. So I guess the, the emphasis on new because health and safety wasn't exactly what we went out to achieve um, with what we're going to be sharing with you today, but um, certainly it's, 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 it's come along and been recognized. Um, I was told that when you do some public speaking or presentation, you, was, you should always start with a joke. Um, so I'll do my best. I'm not a comedian, but I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, what remains the most groundbreaking invention in construction? It's a spade. Um, um, there, there's a reason behind the joke, right? Um, I'm a salesman, so I'll, I'll try and um, explain that. When, when somebody tries to or wants to buy a spade, what are they looking for, right? They're looking for a hole in the ground, right? They're looking for the value that a spade can bring to whatever it is that they want to achieve. And a lot can be said about our business. Um, we, a lot of people know about steel and tube. We're recognized as um, selling steel and uh, related products across New Zealand, uh, a very well-known company. And the business we are part of is the reinforcing steel. Um, a lot of you might probably know reinforcing steel, and it really is just a commodity product, right? There's nothing special about it. It's a piece of black steel with some ribs on it. and Basically, we cut it and bend it into different shapes, and it goes into concrete, and once a bridge or a building is finished, nobody sees it, and it's not really appreciated, right? Um, but there's a lot of complexity that goes behind that. Um, back in the day, if you allow me a little bit to t talk about um, uh, our process and um, where we come from, back in the day, you know, we would get an engineer drawing or a design of a bridge or a house foundation, and a guy had to sit there and interpret the design and produce detailed drawings, draw out every single little bar individually. And I was told, I uh, was speaking to a, a guy in our workshop, he's been there 40 years, that back in the day they took um, Venetian window blinds, right? They would cut up the blind into little tags. And once a detailed drawing is produced, the workshop manager would go and scratch out every single shape individually on a little Venetian window blind. Um, that would go to the shop floor, and the guys would cut and bend the steel, bundle it up, take the little Venetian blind, punch a hole in it, wrap a wire around it, around the bundle of steel, that would go to site, and the guys would um, open it up and try and figure out piece by piece where every piece of steel would go. And that was heavily um, reliant on a detailer knowing what he's doing to produce a marking plan to say where every single piece went. You can imagine um, the amount of errors and rework that came through this process. Um, reinforcing is a rough and dirty trade, and the amount of allowances we had to build into our process to account for all the waste, rework, urgent items, things being detailed and figured out on the fly as construction is happening on a site um, was endless. Um, around 2010, 2011, we invested in a software called ASA, ASA is a um, internationally recognized um, rebar management software that at least allowed these guys to use some sort of computer-aided um, software to produce these detail sheets. No longer had they to scratch out the shape on a Venetian window blind. They could simply, um, the computer would simply transfer that to the workshop, print out a little tag. The guys would know what to make. Similarly, that would be bundled up go to site and installers would have to figure out which goes where. Um, and there we bring, come, we come back to my example of the spade, right? Um, 
this is where we decided, look, we, we've got to figure out what can put us apart from our competitors. How can we add a little bit more value to this process of selling a commodity product, such as reinforcing steel? So in 2021, we decided to invest on Tecla Structures, our 3D beam model software, with the idea of improving this system that we had internally. And I mean, let's be honest, it's since 1850 that we do reinforced concrete and we do it good, we do it well, we improved it, we mastered it, but nothing, not much has changed. It's some steel embedded in concrete. So what we tried to change was the perception of these trade as of, sorry, it's gone. <laughs> so the perception that is there for reinforcing and we think that 3D beam can help us on delivering a better product, but also improving health and safety while doing so. How? Well, we think that there are three big keys or key points that makes the 3D software a really valuable um, for reinforcing and health and safety, adding, adding, adding value to reinforcing and, and safety. So the first thing is that we can imagine the structure before going to site, and not only imagine it, we can build it before site. And this is, for example, an, an example that we have, I have behind me that is the ACC office building in Dunedin, where we um, built our reinforcing model, um, also taking in consideration what the steel structure on site, the, the future steel structure will be there, and also the pies and all the substructure, but not only that. We went to a deeper level of information where we start doing some class check with all the down bolts and also penetration for the services that we're passing through the, through, through the, through the foundation. All these makes the structure doing, um, sorry, all these make the structure safer in a way because we, didn't need, we need to do less rework, less error on site. Everything is already being planned ahead before going to site. And this is where the real power of 3D in our perspective is. Um, the second key is that um, the, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> So the, the second key is the fact that nowadays everyone is trying and looking after the next complex project. The geometry are becoming more complex. The, the progress are, are becoming more challenging. Therefore, 3D beam help us on tackling all these aspects. This is, for example, um, the foundation planes for a big wind farm in the Napier area, where we deliver 40 planes on a really harsh environment with a really complex shape. You can imagine that every plant has a large amount of single bars that need to be installed in a really harsh environment, as I was saying. And um, look at this structure. I can literally stand on the lowest part of, of this manufacture. And now imagine yourself tying some steel on site, trying to tie a big bar, a really heavy bar, and something goes wrong because it's wrong, because it's not the right fit. Therefore, what you find is that 3D helps you on getting this right the first time. Um, another good example that is here in Auckland is the new IKEA building. We are delivering 2,200 tons of steel for a pretty traditional foundation project. Um, but it, there is something interesting in this project. We are delivering roughly 60 or 70% of the structure already prefabricated. And, um, Look at this trench. How much time would you like to spend in that trench, tying, tying steel, you know, uh, uh, surrounded by risks, and not only risk related to your job, but also the environment. I mean, we all know what's the weather like in, in Auckland. And, um, you know, you don't want to spend too much time there. And what 3D does is uh, help us on imagining the structure before going to site, as I was saying, making sure that it's a good fit but also planning prefabrication. And from there, we can prefabricate the beams and the cages in our workshop and uh, do it in a safer environment with a control environment. So there is also more QA and more checks happening in a safer environment. We don't need to go back in the trench. And um, install it on site 
dropping the risk, the amount of risk and the hazard that our workers face every single day. And I mean, all these without the 3D beam will be more complex to achieve. Not impossible, but will be really hard to achieve. The third key point is no doubt the easy access to the model, okay? Uh, nowadays, the cloud and the sharing platforms allow us to access the model everywhere in the world with any type of device and any, any type of platform. Uh, what we're trying to do is not only provide a 3D model, but also providing an easy access to our client to this model. And how we do it is creating a flyer like this one. We are trying to uh, provide our client with a simple flyer like this one where they can hang it on site and allow everyone on site to know what's happening on site and every, any given time and any given moment. And this one clear makes everyone aware of what's happening on site, not just the site manager, not just the steel fixer, but someone that can walk, possibly walk along the site and want to see what's happening. And um, as you can imagine, this one is already uh, advanced in my opinion, or in our opinion, regarding health and safety. Um, ideally, I was thinking initially to put a video for you and show you how easy it is to pan and zoom, but I was thinking it was quite boring. So if you want to scan the QR code, uh, I will give you a minute to scan it and see yourself how easy it is with, you know, any type of platform, any type of device that is an iPhone or can be uh, a laptop, you can access the model, pan it, zoom it, get the information you want. And imagine we are doing it here. Imagine when you do it on site and, and so on. I hope that you see how easy it was. And you don't need any special skill. Anyone can do it. While you do that, I'll just uh, sort of uh, try and wrap up for us. Um, really just three key takeaway points here from, from our perspective. Uh, um, Reinforcing steel and the trade of reinforcing, and which I'm really passionate about, is considered a rough and dirty trade. That is not an exact science. That's really up to the people that we have in our teams to kind of get it right. Um, but no longer is it sort of sitting in the guy's head that's behind the computer or behind the drawing board. One could make this quite easily available that, that everybody on a construction site can, can see exactly what, what needs to be done. Um, second of all, this allows us to, um, I guess, see a structure up front and, and identify those areas we can prefabricate or identify where other elements of a, of a project is interfacing with our steel, like holding down bolts or, or pipe penetrations. And finally, um, just that ability to share to anybody the, the access to the model. Um, we've had concrete places, for example, actually use our model just to quickly have a, a reference where they have to cut their beams, for example, or uh, the, the construction managers on site using our model to plan the next work front that comes up. And most certainly the installers, instead of a hard copy plan trying to match up little mark numbers, they can actually have a phone on site to see exactly where each item needs to be installed, which has just created incredible efficiencies for us. Um, so thanks, guys, and look forward to the next presenters.